It's another lockdown Saturday. Saturdays are so different for me now we're in lockdown. Saturdays used to be a relaxed start to the day followed by the mania of packing to get ready for being away overnight for the gig. So Saturdays now are a lot more chilled out. Great from a stress levels point of view, not great from a not doing anything exciting point of view and definitely not great from an earning point of view. I've done some laundry today. Been sorting tonight's upload out, of course. But look at the state of my house. And I tell you what, it's not just the kitchen that's this bad. So today I'm gonna have a pretty good clean up of the house. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna make a start and listen to some interesting stuff on my speaker while I'm doing it and just kind of see how far I get with that. I also intend to go for a walk this evening because I really need to do that more. Also, it's Izzy's birthday tomorrow. Lockdown birthday in solitary confinement. Well, apart from me. So I'm gonna wrap her presents up later. There's some really hot bits in this water. It's kind of uneven. stove's got extremely grubby. The problem is, you see, neither me nor Izzy really care if the house is a bit messy. You don't really get that bothered by it. And when I clean, it's usually because I feel like I ought to, rather than because I actually feel motivated by the fact that I'm not looking spotless. I think with IB not coming round as well, I've got even worse than usual. And I'm usually pretty bad, as IB will testify. I dare say. Yeah, I'll leave that to soak for a bit and finish the washing up off. It's looking a bit cleaner now. I did all up there. I've never cleaned up there in all the time I've been living here, so that was quite grotty. Didn't even notice it was grotty until I looked today. I'm gonna do those now. God, look at that. Good as new, nearly. Oh, Izzy's come down. That can only mean one thing. She's hungry. No, I'm not. I just wanted to show you my video. Oh, what have you been doing today, Izzy? I have been, because in one of my groups, there was like a thing where you had to make a funny video. So I went all out and did a really funny skit. And I know I'm not supposed to call it funny, but I personally really like how it turned out. She says she's going to put it on her channel, which is Felicity. I suppose I'd better link it at the end of this now then, hadn't I? Got all splats up the side of my kettle. Ooh. This is the sort of cleaning I really don't do often compared to most people, I think. I'm just always just doing the nitty gritty things, really. The everyday, not the uh, stuff like this. There we are, one gleaming kettle. Looking so much better now, but of course now I've worked up an appetite, so I'm going to try and make something with these in. Some kind of a salad with tinned sardine in it and some red kidney beans, cold, and I'm going to make some couscous with it. So just do the old lot. Yeah. Now I do find couscous quite boring, so I might try and Zhush it up a bit. I've got another packet in the cupboard, so I might as well top my jar up. In six minutes. It's nearly done, look. It's only been there a couple of minutes. Doesn't take long. I think I'll whack it in a pan then with some spices. I'm running really low on all my seasoning though. And just going to corner shops has just not been adequate. We're getting herbs if we got left. Yeah, I like all these things, but Izzy doesn't. I should have a bit of coriander and a bit of cumin. But she's not keen on like whole seeds of things. She's certainly not keen on cardamoms. I got these from IB's house. They're probably past their date to be honest, but I figured I'd use them. Oh yeah, 2015. <laughs> should probably throw those out. Cumin seeds, but again, Izzy's not keen. Oh, I've got some herbs here. Oregano. That's all I've got. 
the only herbs I have and have oregano. Actually, it's quite nice having a little bit of time to just potter around the kitchen and refill my spice jars and things like that. Even on lockdown, our weeks seem to be quite rushy, trying to get everything done that we plan to do. My mum got me those ones for Christmas. I asked specifically for a load of spices and herbs. I'm going to give the sugar snap peas a shower. I've had these over a week actually, so I don't think there's any virus on them. Ineffective one-handed filming at the same time washing <laughs> as demonstrated by Immo and Izzy Vlogs. Okay. I think they're okay. Had this a week too. Seems to be alright though. Good. Seems to be alright. That went off at a bit of an angle, didn't it? If I just do loads, I suppose we could have some later as well. I'm going to do those pies later, the Frey Bentos ones that I got yesterday in the discount supermarket. We haven't eaten a lot of raw food for ages. I've been so concerned about the virus. I've been cooking everything within an inch of its life. I was going to add some of these olives out of the fridge to it, but it's already got lots of green, so... ta -da! I can't always open these. Oh, maybe we won't have olives. Trusty hammer. <laughs> Yay! Too much of a vacuum inside, see? Mm. I think this is going to be quite nice. I was re-watching one of my old Coimbra vlogs the other day, just for a bit of late night escapism, and I forgot what a delicious salad I had which had tinned sardines in it. Of course Portugal's quite famous for its tinned sardines, isn't it? And that's something I bought a few of for the lockdown because I thought they'd keep and be quite nutritious. Don't forget to pop a bit of tape over the hole in the lid if you make a hole in your lid to get your jar open. I've put the couscous in the pan with the oil out of the sardines that I just chucked in. So I heated that up, added some powdered coriander, powdered ginger, a bit of soy sauce, some salt and pepper and that oregano. It smells really nice. I would like to add chilli and lemon and coconut and I bet it would be delicious if I did that but I know that Izzy is sensitive to all of those ingredients so I can't, but you could. There. Hopefully Izzy's not too horrified by today's creation. I'm out. Izzy enjoyed her lunch, believe it or not. Yeah, she didn't object too much to the tin sardines, which I was astonished about. Oh, look at those tiny little leaves just coming now. That bark's peeling off. Out with the old and in with the new. Izzy didn't want to come out. She's, she's doing her maths at the moment. But I did give her the opportunity to come out, but she just said she wanted to get it done so she could have the evening free. She's taken after her mum spending the day editing. Mm, there's a sign of the times, eh?
it's turning into a bit of a thing having nature at the end of my vlogs these days in the lockdown. It's because I tend to go out in the evenings if I'm going to go out at all because there are far less people about. The willow herb is starting to grow up here. They'll be blooming before the summer's out. Pink flowers. The bracken's just unfurling. Always reminds me of a fiddle scroll. I watch loads of vlogs as you might imagine and watching other people's little snatches of their walks outside always makes me feel like I've had a bit of outside time at the end of it and I know it's just psychological but it feels really refreshing when you're trapped inside. Oh look at the new growth on the brambles there, it's a different shade altogether. I am getting quite a workout here, it's been pretty steep so far but I haven't encountered a soul. As I walked up through the streets, I did see a few people, but there was nobody on my side of the road. It's been really quite isolated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.